Good morning, brothers. Welcome to A Brown Bag Gentleman. Yes, today we're using the George Trumper Rose Soap. Ah, yes, let me show you that. It comes in a fancy wood bowl thing. It was a Christmas present probably like five years ago. I don't know why I don't use it that much because it's, it's, it's very pleasant rose. It's more like a real rose. So yeah, it smells nice. And I whipped it up in my copper bowl. Now whipping it up is doesn't whip up as smooth and creamy looking as, as a lot of other ones do. Uh, so we'll see how it does. It's been a while since I've used it. And truth be told, I did whip this up um, with 300 swirls, not just 200, because I was trying to basically break down some of the bigger bubbles. You see there's still bigger bubbles in it. So yeah, I'd like to see it a little, a little more dense really, but hey, we'll see how the performance is. So we'll, I mean, there's a lot of it. There's certainly a lot of it. I could shave 10 people with that soap. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of soap in there, but so let's let me wash my face and we'll get ready to go. So hold on one sec while I do that. Alrighty, guys, I am back. Just wash the face, and you know today I'm just looking at the soap. It's like you know I've I've used the D plate on the car razor this week, and it's been a bit too much for me. Uh, I say when I got it, I was only shaving every other day. Now I'm shaving every day. And that's proven to be just a tick too much for me as far as comfort level and everyday use for me. So I backed it down to the D plate open comb that I already had. That I got with it originally, I believe, I think. <laughs> so we're gonna use that today, but I do have some spots here that, yeah, that I kind of cut myself through the week and I've kind of re hit them every, like, every day for like three days or so. It's like, face is a little tender. So I'm gonna do something I just rarely do. I'm going to use the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements uh, Pre-shaved cube. I just washed my face with this, but now I'm going to use it as an underlayer. So that's what it's also used for. So you just never get to see me do this. So today I decide you're going to get to see me do this. I want I want a little extra protection on my face today. There, that's enough. Get my hands wet. There we go. Let's rub in the soap. And I say I've already pre-washed my face, so it's ready to go. But this is going to be a protective layer. Still a little more slickness, what have you. So I'll, basically I'm not taking a chance with a George Trump today. I'm not saying it's a bad soap, I'm just saying I'm not gonna take the chance on it. That's what I'm saying. It didn't lather up thick and creamy, so yeah. We're gonna put another layer on it. So I'm just washing the soap off my hands in my sink full of water. There we go. Use my washcloth, just kind of semi dry my hands. <laughs> All right, so we're going to use this. Give it a couple of swirls here. Okay, there we go. And of course, this is certainly lathering well in the face. But truth be told, too, that that Phoenix Artisan Christmas pre shave soap does kind of make any soap lather really well. It does. <laughs> uh, Although for the price of this, I'm sure this leather's well on itself. I just don't remember. I haven't used it in a while. Which means probably this week after my feed, I might even skip a day's shaving. Not tomorrow, it's Sunday. I gotta go to church. So probably Monday, I might just skip a day. And then come back to it, use the George Trumper Rose without the pre-shaved soap underneath it. And we'll see how this does. Warm up the razor. There we go. That's one. Oh, have any of you guys um, got the new Christopher Bradley's um, razor? I have not pulled the trigger on that. I'm not ready to. Well, you just saw I already pulled the trigger on something expensive. So yeah, <laughs> gotta let the wallet cool down a little bit before we do any more. But I'm just curious to see what what you think of it. Last one is going quite comfortable and well. And oh, that e plate did not upset my scar area really at all. And I thought it would, but it didn't. It just kind of got me in spots. Like here's a good spot to get me, and it got me here, and it got me up in the cheek, which I usually don't get got on the cheek, but it, it got me.
And if I was sticking with the, the E plate too, obviously my technique would improve and I would be better and I wouldn't hurt, you know, get myself so much. But Cause when I was shaving every other day, it wasn't really bothering me. But yeah, I like to shave and I like to shave every day. I think it feels, especially on the neck, it just feels good. Even when I grow a beard, I still shave my neck because it just feels good to have a nice clean shaved neck. Okay, pass one is there. And I'm not gonna go two passes under the nose. I'm gonna just let that go. I, I could, yes, I mean, it could, it could use it, but I'm not going to just because it it's been a rough week for the, for the skin. So I'm just gonna pass by the sensitive area. Now, I've been doing two passes here, but I'm gonna cut myself right there at the, at the crease in the skin. Well, that soap feels good. It does feel nice. So even though the bubbles were a little bit big and it looked a little bit light, it certainly is going on well. So yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. But look how even look on the extra on the brush, it looks light and foamy. See that? But it's going on well. So it's instilling more confidence when I see it on the face. All right, pass two across the grain. I'm particularly going extra light right through here. All right, it's half the face. I did notice something with, with the carved razor and using the different the DNE plates this week. The going from the D open comb to the to the E closed comb, a lot of times for me the open comb will still be more aggressive than the next step up in closed comb, but not the case with the carved. In the next case, it's definitely more aggressive. So I just thought that was intriguing um, because they, it hasn't been my experience with other razors with, mo with multiple base plates when they have open and closed comb. Case in point, the, um, the Razor Rock Game Changer. I actually have currently the, the less aggressive open comb I had on it and still have the base plate for the more aggressive, but I feel that the less aggressive open comb, you know, less, less, ba less blade gap open comb is more aggressive than the larger blade gap closed comb in that razor. And let's see what other razor I do that does the same thing. Sorry, it's escaping me right now, but, but yeah, so I, a couple other razors, that's been my experience. And I was expecting that experience here, when I, especially when I got the D plate. I was looking for smoothness because open combs can be a little rougher. Hasn't been that case with the with the Christopher Bradley. Really liking the open combs. I'm this is kind of what I'm going to stick with is this D plate open comb. It's just it just it works for me. It just it just does, and I don't find it overly aggressive. And you can tame it down by riding the cap more. And you know those little tricks that we all know. But I'm feeling, I'm feeling it in my face a little bit for, from this because it's just it's having used that other plate earlier in the week. I still, it's not a real comfortable. Right, right now I can feel on my face this, you know, a little bit of stinging from the soap. So yeah, I know the skin is, it needs a rest. So I say I probably won't shave on Monday. Boy, this does shave nice. This just saves nice. And I mean, you can't beat the, the price for, for the razor. I got it pre-COVID. I think so it was like $70, $75 for, the, for, the, for a single base plate and head and handle. And then it was like $23 per base plate. That's like the least expensive base plates around from anybody. So hats off, um, Christopher Bradley Company. And yeah, that's the brass bronze. They, yes, they make a stainless steel one. I just, I wanted the original. I wanted the, the, you know, the brassy, bronzy thing. That's what I wanted. And the patina, yes, I know. Because people either love it or hate it. 
Um, it's letting mine patina and it's getting a little staining on the top. It is, that's just part of the game. But at any point I don't like it, I can polish it. Going nice and slow. I'm riding a cap a tick, just a tick. Oh yeah, that's good though. Let me get a little water on that. Let's liven up. There we go. Livens up the slickness. I know I've never seen anybody else do that. I just kind of discovered it on my own. I have not seen anybody do that. Have you? I've just have you seen anybody else just wet it instead of putting on more soap? I mean, yeah, I got outside of soap. I can put more soap on. In fact, let's do that. That's look a little it's drying a little bit. Yeah, that's looking like it's going away a little bit. It's disappearing. Huh, I had forgotten about that, that this, yeah, this soap disappears. And not that I, that doesn't bother me because I know the slickness of what have you still stays. I've used like a homemade um, goat milk soap before without any preservatives and all that stuff to keep the leather up and, and you know, it would just quickly dissipate. But the slickness was still there. It was still basically present on your face and you didn't have to worry that you couldn't see it because it still worked. That company closed shop during COVID in my town. They're still in business online. I guess I've been a little lazy because I couldn't just walk in the store and get it downtown. So I haven't got any, but kind of get in the mood where I want to order some more of that. Okay, let's put a little water on that. Feeling? Oh, right there, right there. Nope, right there. Okay, come the other way. That got, nope, no, 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 no more. Uh, yeah, half of it. Yeah, it's gone. Okay. There. Let me pause so I can wash up and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. I've washed my razor, put it back on the shelf, and then I've wiped off my face with a warm face cloth. So now I'm ready to splash in the cold water and use the alum. Don't have any bleeders, maybe just a speck right there. Just gonna open up what I had yesterday. So yeah, a little bit, I mean, barely. But let me splash in some cold water. So turn the cold water on and I'll be right back. Here, let's see. Oh yeah, it feels cold today. <sighs> Alrighty. And we've got the um, Shave Nation alum block. Yeah, it's just a little blemish spot on my shoulder, so I put some alum on it. Got yeah, blemish, put alum on it. Works great. Kids with te teenagers with acne, put some alum on it. Yeah, there we go. Let me dry that off. And sometimes I rinse off afterwards, and most of the time I don't. I, yeah, I play around with it and see if it makes a difference. I haven't really noticed that it makes a difference, only that my skin tends to like it a little bit better if I do leave it on, so I leave it on. Today's aftershave is going to be Sterling's Allegheny. Oh yeah, very springy, florally, nice, sweet aftershave. Just a little two ounce travel, you know, I call it travel size or um, um, sample size. Oh yeah, some burns. Burn because I yeah, got, got myself good this week with Boy, that smells good. Yes, highly recommend the Allegheny scent. Really like it. And to me, it just smells spring summery. And yes, I'm pushing it. It's going to be low 60s today, if that, I think, here in North Carolina. The, the temperatures dipped down a little bit. It's been 70s. It was actually hot, and I had the windows open and the ceiling fan on all that two days ago. Then last yesterday afternoon, it started cooling down, cold front coming through. Not that it's going to last long, because it's... March 26th, so yeah, by April, it's, yeah, it's going to get warm again. Um, the pollen has started the last few days ago, so it, it's pollen season here in the south. Everything gets coated with a thick covering of yellow. 
especially when the pine trees are pollinating and it's like it's just it's heavy and thick and when you wash your car and you bring it out you you, you park it at work or then you come out at the end of the day and it's just thick yellow all over it so <laughs> part of the saddle that's what happens we, we're used to it every year so none of us wash our decks or or wax our cars or anything until after pollen season so yeah we wait till that and then we do all that stuff all that cleaning outdoors because it's not worth it beforehand <laughs> so she went well today. Yes, it's still, I'm still feeling the sting of just being really getting super close with the other plate. So I, I really do need a day's rest for my face. Probably won't be tomorrow today because I want to go to church clean shaven. But, but the shave came out well today. And yeah, I, I rode the cap just a tick more. I don't know if you noticed it, but yeah, a little tick more. I was kind of bringing it over a little bit more than I needed to. But it still worked very well. Got nice and close to my neck. And I was trying to be very careful on this side of my neck, be my offhand side, just so I wouldn't you know, get in there and dig in and cut myself like I did yesterday. <laughs> so I was more careful today. And it seemed to pay off. Oh, that scent smells good. I like that Allegheny. I really do. I recommend, I mean, not expensive and just nice. And it's going to last all morning long. It's, it's going to do a good job. So I'm, I'm very pleased with that. But hope you guys enjoyed the shape for the day and go with God.